going to take one of the life jackets from uh, the, a boat that just arrived and we're going to, to test its buoyancy to see if it's actually worth anything uh, with these refugees wearing and coming over that it would keep them, if it would keep them afloat. here were worn by refugees that just hit the shores of Lesbos today. We took a, a, a range of different vests that we found uh, and a couple of things that you need to know about life vests, that have a proper life vest. We'll start with the children's vests. Something like this that refugee uh, children are wearing, this is not even suitable for safety within a pool. Uh, it even says very clearly on the back, used only under competent supervision, not for use in boating. And children are having these strapped on and they're being sent in the rafts across the sea. Uh, this is a vest that's a little bit more proper for a child. What's important with a life vest is to have a headrest. So if they are out in the open sea for a long time, if they happen to sleep or lose consciousness, that their head will continue to stay above water and they will have their breathing uh, passage clear. The other important thing is to have the leg straps. Okay, So it would go on through their arms, they would step into these with their legs, it's pulled up tight so that the vest never slips off them. It fits snug and it's holding them above water the entire time. This is one of the vests that was made uh, in the factories in Turkey. So we'll see if it can hold up someone. I am uh, I'm six foot four, uh, 220 pounds. So this light vest is keeping me up. As you can see, because I don't have any leg straps in, it's pushing my body up. If I were to fall asleep, my head could turn, I could turn this way, or if I were rendered unconscious for some reason, there's nothing that's going to keep my head out of the water. And I can feel the vest jacking up uh, into my, my throat. Again, it's keeping my chest up a little bit for my head. You know, if I had to float, it's completely tranquil today as well. You know, when people are, are falling out of the ships and the ships are capsizing, you have two to three foot swells. So you have to imagine my body getting bounced around like this. Okay? And if I, if I am not comfortable in the water, I don't know how to swim, I'm in deep water, I start to fall asleep until I go forward. Okay? And because it's not tied around my legs, I'm not necessarily going to flip. I could end up face down. In the water. We've been cutting open uh, the life vest up here to try to figure out you know, what makes for a good life vest and what makes for one of these counterfeit ones that people have been wearing that uh, you know, have done nothing to help them survive when they've come out of the boat. And what I think we've been able to determine is it's a foam density issue. So this was what looked like a very professionally made life jacket that we, we cut the foam out of. And you can see that it's you know, more than twice the thickness of the life jackets that are branded that are being made in Turkey. Um, you know, th this is going to keep you afloat in a much different way than this would keep you afloat.